Hey everyone, it's Zyle22 bringing you the next great episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, last episode we started the foundation of my house. I failed epically at everything else. Um, as you can see, we got a lot of creatures out there. And I am waiting for it to become morning. So while we wait, let's get some business out of the way. Um, first off, we got some comments from Zane. Or Zane, or... Don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. Sorry. Anyways, he says he wants this place to be called the Xylo Shack. I actually kind of like that name. Uh, also, we have Green Dragon Spride, who left me a long list of names. The only one I really like on that one is Yahtzee. Um, to give you an idea of what the kind of name I'm looking for, I really don't want it to say Xylo, then something. Or rhyme with Xylo, or any puns like that. Uh, personally, because a lot of people do that, like X. He has the X Cave from his series. And I'm trying to be as little like all the other people who do these series as possible. So I really don't want an, a Xylo Cave or a Z Cave. I just want a cool name. And uh, for purposes of this video, that's why I kind of like Yahtzee. This, we're going to return to Yahtzee. Uh, it sounds weird, but I kind of like it. Uh, so yes, yeah, so if you guys have any more names, please please keep coming with the names. I want some good names for, this ho for our, our home. Um, I would also like uh, comments. And such as uh, comments, do you like the video and whatnot, and such. Um, Dragon Sprite also said that he would like me to speed up the video. So uh, I'm going to do that for this video at least. When I'm building stuff, I will just speed up so you can see me build everything. But it'll be really fast. Alright, let's check out daylight here. Ah, still dark out. Right. Also remember, please tell your friends, your family, your other friends, people you hate about this series. I really want a lot of people to watch it because I really like audience participation. I like to hear what you guys say and want me to do. So, uh, yeah. Chicken! I'll get you one of these days, chicken. One of these days! Right, so, uh, let's, uh, let's get to daytime. Hi. Alright, welcome back. Um, as you can see, the sun is rising, so we can start going to work. Uh, while we're waiting for the sun to fully come up and kill all the zombies and whatnot, um, I would like to say uh, I am sorry, uh, one, for the last episode, because I uh, had no sound on, so I realized it was quite silly when I went back and watched it, that I hear, outside, I'm like, oh, it's perfectly safe, let's just leave the base right now, nothing will possibly... Um, I did that because my computer speakers would, you know, send out the sound I'm playing the game as it records on Fraps, and you would hear an echo in the mic. Uh, I've solved that problem now, so now I can actually hear what's going on, and you guys will not. So, I can hear everything. Unless you guys want me to go back. Maybe you guys want me to be totally clueless of what's going on. Maybe you enjoy watching me suffer. Feel free to comment. Please, I'd like to hear anything that you have to say about the series. Anything at all. Alright, well, now my biggest problem, and what I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do, is get outside. Because every time we've gone outside, I have died, pretty much. Because the creeper is hiding somewhere. And since the house isn't finished, I can't really look around. And the roof isn't finished, so I can't believe that's even safe. So I don't know how I'm going to get outside for fear of creepers. Um, I'm sort of planning just opening this door and just sprinting out the front door of, my, of our new home. And then looking back and praying. Because um, that's all I can really think of at the moment. But before we do that... I'm going to store all these useful items I have, because there's no point in wasting them if this is a suicide mission. Except I'll take the sword, just in case. Alright, here we go. Ready? Kalabunga, dude! Okay, check around, check around, check around, get out here in the open, out here in the open. Whoa, lag. Okay. Frame rate issues. I wonder why I'm having such bad frame rate issues. Uh, do you guys know? Does anyone else here use fraps? Can someone tell me why my frame rate is so bad? Alright. Okay. Looks like we're good. Uh, just be safe that I'm going to check up on this hill. Don't want them on top of my base. Oh, looks good. Alright, sweet. Check around the hills, too. Gotta be more secure than I've ever been before. 
Alright. Looks like we very well might be fine. I watched my videos and uh, it wasn't nearly as bad, but there was still some lagginess I noticed on the final product. So yeah, I don't know why that is. I'm pretty sure my computer's more... I heard zombie. Anyways, I'm pretty sure my computer's powerful enough to handle fraps. Uh, it's got a uh, i5 core processor, so... Anyways, uh, let's get some trees here. I would go get my axe, but I'm also afraid of dying still, so I don't want to die with my axe. Alright, our goals for today, folks. Um, I'm not going to do that checker box thing anymore, unless you guys really like that, on the fact that it's a pain to make. Uh, our goals for today are to get wood, finish the house, and clear out the surrounding area. That is our goal. And hopefully, we can make that goal and or dream a reality. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's get this wood. Get some wooden planks. And get to work. Preferably on the roof, because the roof is the most dangerous part. Uh, interesting bit of tidbit. Um, interesting tidbit I found out. Apparently, in the uh, Halloween update, uh, it was not made so torches did not last forever. So our torches right now are lasting forever still. Which is good news for me, because I was afraid I'm going to die when the torches went out. But they're going to stay on for a while. Forever, practically, until that is fixed. So... We're going to take use that to our advantage. All right, let's get this last part filled in here. I'm going to run out of blocks, aren't I? Oh, look at that! Almost perfect. There's a back row here. Dang it! All right, but we have more wooden blocks, so it's okay. We can fill that up. We'll get this axe out because we'll probably be using that, and we'll move on. Let's get this uh. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted it. And there we have it, folks. Our beginning of a home. Let's get the shovel here. Uh, now your question might be, why, well, well, Xylo, you may ask yourself, why is this such a long row on the sides? Uh, that is because uh, that's going to be 100% windows. Hold on a second. That's going to be 100% window there. Uh, the reason for this being that uh, I like 360 vision. And it's a style I've never tried before. So I like to be able to see that. We're also going to be putting in a uh, skylight. Because darn, those are useful when there are creepers on your roof. Okay, but right now, we need sand, because that's what's going to get us our glass, and we're going to need a heck of a lot of it. It's a good thing my hand is very good at getting sand. Okay, what was that creepy sound? Gosh, it sucks I don't even feel safe in the daytime anymore with all these creepers lying around. In fact, I don't think I've ever died by being out night too long. I've died from creepers in the daytime. All right, let's uh now we're going to build ourselves a oven or a kiln or whatever the heck you want to call it right here. You just put a bunch of cobblestone, make a same way you made the chest. I made the chest. I don't know if you guys saw me make the chest, but oh well. All right, and let's set this up. Uh I like it kind of next to the workbench. So let's put it right here. Actually, before we do that though, before I put it up in the workbench, I see some rock there. And we really don't have much cobblestone around, so got to save the rock. Get as much as as I can, and we'll fall back in with dirt. All right, perfect. All right, now we have our oven, and ovens can cook things. But for ovens to work, you need either coal, which we actually have, so I'll be using coal. Or wood. Coal burns for longer and will fuel the fire a lot more efficiently. So we're going to stick some coal in there. Alright, and now that is cooking us up some glass. We have cows in here now. And chickens. Let's kill some cows. 
Yes, cows drop hide, which we will definitely want, because hide can be used to create armor. Get over here, cow! Silly cow. What was that? Oh, that was an egg! Haha! -ha! An egg! Does this make up for that egg I missed in the last episode or two? That someone had to go and point out? Does this make up for it? It better. Alright, let's get this pig. Pig! I demand thee! Yes. Actually, let's kill a sheep too. Actually, I don't need to kill the sheep, I just want its wool. Cow! It's actually not beneficial to my original goal, which was to clear out the area, so probably should go be doing that. Um, apparently there's a glitch now that these uh, leaves don't despawn like they should. So now I have to manually get rid of them all. And you really want them all gone because shade will keep zombies alive longer in the daytime. It protects them from the sun. As this is speeding through here, do you guys have any idea what uh what's really good for taking down leaves? Because I don't. If you guys happen to know if there's a thing that takes out leaves really well, please tell me. Oh, and it's already getting dark. We're going to build something real quick. We're going to take this wood we have, and we're going to build a door. A door is simply a rectangle with wood, and that will create you a door. And we're going to use this door as our front door. Right there. And I actually don't like how that looks. I don't like the fact that there's empty space next to the door, so we're going to fill that in. With the totally wrong material. That's right, Zal. Just fill it in with the wrong materials. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, we need torches up now, because it is getting far too dark in here for my comfort level. And we're going to stick these in the corners. There we go. Not, not the uh, greatest amount of lighting, but definitely a decent amount. As you can see, glass is clear through, just like real glass. Clear through. I say clear through. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, see through. Glass is see through, just like real glass. But it still counts as a block, so things can't go through it. Now look at that. I picked. I went in and grabbed the exact amount of glass needed at the right time. Go Zalo. Go Zalo. Bacon. Let's get that glass up there. And bacon, 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 bacon. Bacon. Perfect. Uh, in a later episode, we'll probably have to cook all the bacon. But uh, we now have cooked bacon, and cooked bacon heals you a lot more than normal bacon. Watch this. Pow! Look at that. Health, my little health bars aren't even shaking now. Alright, well, we have uh, completed the house now. Looks very pretty. Not much adventure going on in this episode. So, uh, yeah. Guess I will end this here. I'm Zylo202. Thanks for watching. Please favorite, subscribe, and thumb up. Uh, feel free to leave me any comments you have. And thank you. Bye!